Hello everyone, Jason Lea back here again. Usually I do these Hell of a Bosses episode reviews right after I react to the entire thing, but the day I reacted to the entire episode, I didn't have time to do the review, had to do some other stuff, plus I was getting pretty sick and I needed to rest for a little bit. Um, but yeah, now I'm able to do this and let's talk about it. So this episode introduces Mo Moxie's father. And he is basically the leader of a mob who is trying to get Moxie and his ex-shark together. And this shark was in a relationship with both Moxie and Millie. This episode explores more of Moxie's family life and his backstory, where he came from, his upbringing, and how he met Blitz. And basically is a character study of Moxie. Now... I, now, my gripe with it is that Millie still doesn't serve much of a role to the episode. Like, she has moments in there where she is awesome. But in terms of, of like, progressing the character, Millie seems so important to Moxie's life, yet we barely have m many episodes, apart from a few segments here and there, where we explore her life, but there's never a deep dive look into this like Moxie. So in terms of the character of Millie, um, I would have loved to see more of that. Um, with Blitz, you kind of don't need it here. This is more of a Moxie episode, so Blitz serves as a pretty good supporting character here, while Moxie is basically the main character this time around. Luna, we basically got nothing apart from her s still thinking that Moxie's fat in the beginning and just on her phone. Um, but yeah, even she has more characterization than Millie so far. Go figure. Um, but yeah, apart from like the main cast, how's everyone else? Uh, the, sh the gay shark dude or bisexual shark dude, funny as fuck. The humor overall here is dirty as shit. I don't know how much a lot of the audience is going to be able to handle, but since Viv Z Pop's audiences at this point know what to expect, and sh her shows and animations are so popular now, that I think we have come to expect a dirty humor like this, and honestly, I just found it pretty hysterical. This is probably one of the funnier episodes, but it was still able to balance the humorous aspects of the episode with the dramatic ones very well, because you still were able to take seriously how ruthless and vicious Moxie's father is as a mob boss, and because of the backstory we were explored, we were able to fear for Moxie and the characters whenever something might go a certain way that's not good. It might get our characters killed. And I think uh, Moxie's father was able to serve as a great antagonist for the series. At least a reoccurring antagonist. Um, I still think maybe um, uh, Fitzroli or um, Verasica who are mostly connected to Blitzo could serve as probably better overall narrative antagonists but I would love if this this character to be one like the main reoccurring ant antagonist going forward so it is someone not connected to Blitz and he's just overall present here as a ruthless cold killer that if you cross him he's not going to flinch uh when you die he's not going to take any second thoughts on whether or not you should die uh, overall he just felt terrifying in this episode and i loved it um so overall great characterization great drama and story progression uh, would love to see a little bit more some of the supporting characters like millie again and luna but still, as it's focused on Moxie, I think it did a good job establishing and setting up. I would maybe not establishing and setting up, but like progressing the story of Moxie by taking us back to where he first started out in his career. 
and out in his existence and seeing his upbringing. I think that was handled very well. It's still funny. The animation is still really good for an independent show. And I cannot wait to see more in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>